And my first instinct was to like take the heel out if they were to do anything like throw it at them. Hi guys, I'm Tasha and welcome back to another episode on Ladies First. So I heard that Juhi nominated me for having the most organized bag. I want to see Tasha's bag. We already have June showing her panty and we have me showing broken zipper. I want to see someone who's organized and I want to see someone who has flowers in her bag. Probably Tasha. And therefore I am here to show you what is actually in my bag today. So if I was to give my bag a few characteristics, I would probably say that it is what well, it takes after me. So not very aesthetically pleasing, very practical and a very comfortable bag. So I paid $4 for this bag and I'll tell you why. I really like designer bags, but I feel like they're not that practical. So I got this bag, it has five compartments inside and outside. So let's just start with what's outside. It's a little EA mask, you know, during this time. It's very necessary to have things to keep you protected. Don't know if it works. It works for my psychological well-being. So I like, like to wear it, so I'm gonna wear it now as well. Okay, so next, let's start with the bigger items in my bag. We have a sweater, self-explanatory, I get cold, sweater. So the next item I have, ooh, okay, is a vlogging camera. Okay, so my friends got this for me for my birthday. I've been wanting it for a while and I love it so much. You know why? 11 out of 10 times something stupid happens to me or around me and I'm like, I should have vlogged that. Like just yesterday, okay, I was having noodles. I was eating it on the sofa. I went to get another bite and then this this region hit the fork and then the noodles were flying everywhere on the sofa and I was like, Shit, my mom's gonna kill me. Let me uh, clean up. So I went and got the Coke that was near my table. I was like, there's no way I can mess this up again. I had the noodles and the bowl in this hand and then I went to get the Coke. I put the Coke in the glass and so I went to pick up a tissue and like all the Coke spilled out on the floor, ruining the remotes and I was like, Shit, like I really should have vlogged this. So now I can and I don't have an excuse not to show you stupid content anymore. Okay, next thing. A pair of sunglasses because it's sunny, but today it's rainy so there's no need for this. Okay, so I've got socks. Why do I have socks? I hate feet. I hate feet. I, I, hate, I, hate, I, hate, feet. I hate feet. I know it's weird, but I really hate feet. Like anytime like if I have to go to someone's house and if there's like feet to feet interaction, I'll put this on because yeah, I just find them gross. I even find my own feet gross. I'm just weird like that. So socks. Got a wallet. Oh, funny story. So you know how my bag is four dollars? I actually got this for free from HL Milk. So you know you get like a carton of milk and then this came from free and I got this like four years ago. It's been working and it carries everything. It's great. I've got cash and some cards. I've got my crystal. I collect crystals. And I've got some medicine for headaches if any of you give me headaches. <laughs> Oh, I've got band-aids. Usually I'm not the one having, like, using my band-aids. I always give it to other people because they need it. They're like, oh my god, does anyone have a band-aid? I'm like, yes, I do. So if anyone needs a band-aid, I got you. Other than that, yeah, normal wallet. <laughs> I've got a facial spray. You know those, like, rose water infused cucumber water Mario Badesco sprays? Yeah, I'm not about to pay $15 for that, so I made this at home. But I promise you what's in it works. So I just DIY'd it at home, as I said. Not an aesthetically pleasing person, but this works. And not gonna pay $15 for it. What do I have next? Water bottle. A water bottle with a bamboo straw. I like to drink water with a straw. I don't know why, it just makes me drink more water. Huh? It's weird, I know. Next, I've got a moisturizer. Oh, okay, I got this from Q Organics. It was, I went to their flagship opening and it's become one of my most favorite moisturizers and I can't live without it. Like makeup and stuff I don't usually use, but moisturizer, I cannot live without it, so. Ooh, okay, I've got an iPod touch. I know Amanda has one too, so high five, buddy. All you millennials must be wondering what in the world is this? It's basically like a smaller version of an iPhone. So this is my phone and my iPod side by side. You must be like, wow, Amanda must have a lot of music that she needs a separate device to contain all her songs. Yeah, so I don't like to put my music on my phone because I feel like it takes up too much space. So I got this and I've got music stored from like 2000 and Five? So like I'll be hearing the box like something very up to date and trendy and then like the next song on shuffle is going to be like tick tock on the clock, the clock, clock but the party, party don't, don't stop so it's kind of fun because throwback music now trendy music it's great. Next I've got some food. I promise you I always have this like I you will not catch me without a food article. So one oats bar. Actually I've got several videos of my friends who are like 
Like at a club, they'll be cheersing shots and I'll be cheersing my oats bar with them just because I get so hungry. If I don't have an oats bar, I'll have a banana. I'm not even kidding this one time. Um, I was carrying a white purse and I forgot I had this in it and I went out and it squashed everywhere and there's banana juice all mm. over my white bag and it was, I should have brought it today. I'm so sorry, but it looks gross. You don't want to see it. But otherwise, I will eat this or I will share it with my friends. So anyone wants a banana today? Are you hungry? Okay, I'll eat it later. No one else wants it. Okay, normal things, mint. Love me some mint. Ooh. It makes a lot of noise. Does anyone else face that problem? Right? It's really annoying. Like every time I leave the house, it's like and my mom's like, where are you going? And I was like, oh. then I've got a small juicy couture perfume to smell nice. I really like this. It's so cute, but it's almost over. But yeah, I don't know where I got it from. It's so old. Everything I have is old. Besides the food, I promise. Got some lady stuff. Always need these products. This is wet. I hope the banana didn't spill on this now. And, and I, went I went out and it squashed, and it squashed everywhere, everywhere and there's banana, banana juice, juice all over my white bag. <laughs> I feel like it's actually very important to at least have one feminine product in your bag because you never know if someone else needs it or if you immediately need it. So always keep one. I love this for menstrual cramps and I always have this handy because it helps me. I don't enjoy taking painkillers because I don't want to take something chemical if I unless I really need it. So I will use this and it helps my cramps a lot. So I've got my mask. It's a reusable one. I love the color. I keep it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get dirty when it's kept in my bag. So this is that. Okay, now, so I've got a really old band from when I went mega climbing in Sentosa. I've got a notebook, which is also very old. I got this in like 2009 when I competed in Danceworks. It says, don't fall for drugs. <laughs> I don't even want to read what's in it, but look at this. It says Tasha's book. Like only a 13 year old will write this, like Tasha's diary. So you can see how old this is. And then I have a pen, which is really pretty. It has like crystals and little jewels in it. I love sparkly things if you may have seen. And then tissues in case I need it or anyone else needs it. I don't even have space anymore. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I think we're almost done. We have this last compartment. I told you I have many compartments in my bag. So I've got retainers and sometimes my retainer, like the wire glue comes out. So like this is extra glue for that. I've had many instances where I'm eating and then it'll, it'll just like, the wire will just fall out Ouch. and it really irritates my mouth. So I need this. Then I've got rubber band, got another one here. Ooh, okay, last but not least, I've got a pen knife. I feel like you can never be too safe. So I've never used this in Singapore. Thankfully, because like I feel very safe here. But when I was in India, I used to have like a pen knife and pepper spray. Well, not pepper spray. I used to have Dio. Like my my parents always gave it to me in case like when I went out. So this one night I was coming home and I felt like someone was following me and I was really scared because I was young. Me and my friend were actually walking in heels, like just for fun around the condo because I love to wear heels. And people like I guess it attracted like the wrong crowd and then they were like following us. And my first instinct was to like take the heel out if they were to do anything, like throw it at them. But I feel like that wouldn't work for a long time. So like I was just thinking in my, my head what to do. So then I just pulled this out and I think they may have like saw me walking with it. So they kind of backed out. I feel like it helps to protect me. In case there's any need to use it, then yeah, at least I have something. I also know Krav Maga, so suggest you don't mess with me. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what your favorite product is or what you think the weirdest product was or if you have anything in here that you also carry, please let me know so I don't feel alone. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and click here for our latest video. Thank you. Bye guys.